Welcome to this video on environmental chemistry pollution and remediation. In this video, we will explore the impact of pollution on our environment and the various remediation techniques that can be used to mitigate its effects. Environmental chemistry is the study of chemical processes that occur in the environment. It is concerned with the chemical composition of natural and polluted environments, the fate and transport of chemicals in the environment, and the effects of chemicals on living organisms. Pollution is the introduction of harmful substances into the environment that cause adverse effects on living organisms and the natural environment. Pollution can be caused by human activities such as industrial processes, transportation and agriculture, as well as natural phenomena such as volcanic eruptions and wildfires. The effects of pollution can be devastating, leading to environmental degradation, loss of biodiversity and human health problems. Therefore, it is essential to understand the sources and impacts of pollution and to develop effective remediation techniques to mitigate its effects. In the next segment, we will explore the sources and types of pollution. Pollution can come from a variety of sources, including industrial activities, transportation, agriculture, and natural phenomena. Some of the major sources of pollution are 1. Industrial activities. Industries such as manufacturing, mining, and oil and gas production can release pollutants into the air, water, and soil. These pollutants can include heavy metals, chemicals, and particulate matter. 2. Transportation. Vehicles such as cars, trucks, and airplanes emit pollutants such as carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, and particulate matter into the air. 3. Agriculture. The use of fertilizers and pesticides in agriculture can lead to the contamination of soil and water with chemicals such as nitrates and phosphates. 4. Natural phenomena. Natural phenomena such as volcanic eruptions and wildfires can release pollutants into the air and water. There are several types of pollution, including 1. Air pollution. Air pollution is the presence of harmful substances in the air such as particulate matter, nitrogen oxide, and sulfur dioxide. Air pollution can cause respiratory problems, cardiovascular disease, and other health problems. 2. Water pollution. Water pollution is the contamination of water bodies such as rivers, lakes, and oceans with harmful substances such as chemicals, heavy metals, and pathogens. Water pollution can harm aquatic life and make water unsafe for human consumption. 3. Soil pollution. Soil pollution is the contamination of soil with harmful substances such as heavy metals, pesticides, and industrial chemicals. Soil pollution can harm plants and animals and make soil unsuitable for agriculture. In the next segment, we will explore the impacts of pollution on the environment and human health. Pollution can have significant impacts on the environment and human health. Some of the major impacts of pollution are 1. Environmental degradation. Pollution can lead to the degradation of natural environments such as forests, wetlands, and coral reefs. This can result in the loss of biodiversity and ecosystem services such as water purification and carbon sequestration. 2. Climate change. Pollution can contribute to climate change by releasing greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide and methane into the atmosphere. Climate change can lead to rising sea levels, more frequent and severe weather events and other environmental problems. 3. Human health problems. Pollution can cause a range of health problems in humans, including respiratory problems, cardiovascular disease and cancer. Children pregnant women and the elderly are particularly vulnerable to the effects of pollution. 4. Economic costs. Pollution can have significant economic costs, including healthcare costs, lost productivity and damage to infrastructure and property. It is essential to develop effective remediation techniques to mitigate the impacts of pollution. In the next segment, we will explore some of the remediation techniques that can be used to address pollution. There are several remediation techniques that can be used to address pollution. Some of the major techniques are 1. Bioremediation. Bioremediation is the use of microorganisms to break down pollutants into less harmful substances. This technique can be used to remediate soil and water contaminated with organic pollutants such as oil and gasoline. 2. Phytoremediation. Phytoremediation is the use of plants to remove pollutants from soil and water. Plants can absorb and break down pollutants such as heavy metals and organic compounds. 3. Chemical remediation. Chemical remediation involves the use of chemicals to break down or remove pollutants from soil and water. This technique can be used to remediate contaminated soil and groundwater. 4. Physical remediation. Physical remediation involves the use of physical processes such as excavation and dredging to remove contaminated soil and sediment. 5. Environmental regulations. Environmental regulations can be used to prevent pollution by setting limits on the amount of pollutants that can be released into the environment. These regulations can also require industries to use clean air technologies and practices to reduce pollution. It is essential to use a combination of these techniques to effectively remediate pollution.
In the next segment, we will explore some of the challenges and future directions in environmental chemistry and pollution remediation. Despite the progress made in environmental chemistry and pollution remediation, there are still several challenges that need to be addressed. Some of the major challenges are 1. Emerging pollutants. Emerging pollutants such as microplastics and pharmaceuticals are becoming a growing concern in environmental chemistry. These pollutants can have significant impacts on the environment and human health, and new remediation techniques need to be developed to address them. 2. Globalization. Globalization has led to the international transport of pollutants, making it difficult to regulate and remediate pollution on a global scale. 3. Limited resources. Limited resources such as funding and trained personnel can limit the development and implementation of effective pollution remediation techniques. To address these challenges, future research in environmental chemistry and pollution remediation should focus on 1. Developing new remediation techniques. New remediation techniques should be developed to address emerging pollutants and to improve the effectiveness of existing techniques. Do the improving monitoring and assessment. Monitoring and assessment of pollution should be improved to better understand the sources and impacts of pollution and to evaluate the effectiveness of remediation techniques. 3. Promoting sustainable practices. Sustainable practices such as green chemistry and sustainable agriculture should be promoted to prevent pollution and reduce the need for remediation. In conclusion, environmental chemistry and pollution remediation are essential for protecting the environment and human health. By understanding the sources and impacts of pollution and developing effective remediation techniques, we can work towards a cleaner and healthier future.